There are a lot of great things about new health information technology and new healthcare data gathering. And I think they're going to lead to a lot of new forms of treatment and new, more efficient ways of caring for people. However, I just want to give a couple of cautionary tales. One is there's a new vogue for a thing called personal health records, where patients try to get more control over the data that they create or that is created about them at hospitals and in their physician's offices. And this seems like a great thing. But we've already seen personal health care and personal health record vendors mistranslating health records into personal health records for consumers. And so the worry there is that you, know, you could go in and try to get all of your records downloaded and think you've done that very efficiently, only to find out that the wrong data has actually has been entered. So that process, I think, has to be more closely watched. A second example that I really like to remind people of is the unexpected uses of certain types of data when we can't control knowledge of where they came from and where they're going when we don't have adequate auditing systems. Just to give one example, over 18 million Americans back in 2007 were individually insured. A lot of individual insurers were using their pharmacy records to determine whether to insure them or not. So people generally assume, oh, HIPAA covers that. We know that HIPAA covers that. But not the case in many of these situations. And so I think people really, before they sign on to all the new health IT websites, all the new personal care records and other sources of information, they need to be aware that there are lots of ways in which this data can get out all over the world. I mean, even in WikiLeaks gives us an example. So if the U.S. Department of Defense isn't safe, be sure that you know exactly how your personal health infrastructure is that safe as well.